Hey everyone, it's Nick with Radvi Detection. In today's video, we're gonna be upgrading our Alpha Hound into an AB plus G. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and undo all the screws on our Alpha Hound. Make sure your battery, uh, your switch is turned off and we're gonna go ahead and undo these screws. All right, once your screws are all out, we're gonna go ahead and open up our Alpha Hound. Again, make sure that power switch is turned off. We're gonna gently wiggle this back and forth and it'll shimmy off a little bit. So here we go. Uh, so now we have the display and the main board down here. So we're going to go ahead and undo these clips up top. So just the top one and we're going to push it down with our fingernail. So you can see here, this is unlatched. And now you're able to wiggle the screen off. Next up, we're going to grab our Gamma Mod. So they ship like this. And we have our Gamma Mod piece right here. It's actually attached to the back of the display. So you can see here, we have all the chips needed and our BGO scintillator up top there. Go ahead and set that to the side. And then we also have our new chassis that has the buttons. Uh, the box also comes with some extra stuff, um, manuals, uh, all the new features of the Gamma Mod, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and toss that aside. Uh, next up, we're going to have to undo the screws on our new Gamma Mod chassis. All right, so once we have all the screws out of our Gamma Mod, we're going to go ahead and open it up. So you can see the new PCB right here for our buttons. And we're going to want to take our new scintillation crystal and display, and we're going to go ahead and drop it in just like that. So again, this is our display, um, but it also has that new scintillation crystal in it. So we're going to go ahead and undo this clip right here. You can see there's a little flippy tab on it. Go ahead and pop that up. And then we're going to want to align our ribbon cable here with the um, new connector. And we're gonna go ahead and push that down. You might need a tool or something, but I found it's pretty easy to do by hand. So that's where we're at. Next up, we're gonna take our previous um, main board and all of the uh, scintillation and mylar cards. And uh, so here we have our metal grate. I'm gonna drop it in like that. We have our two aluminized mylar cards. I'm gonna set those in. And we also have our alpha beta scintillator. So with the alpha beta scintillator, make sure there's one side that is not reflective. And then there is a side that is reflective that's more glossy. There you go. Make sure that glossy side is pointing up. Um, the matte side is what detects the alpha particles. So we're gonna go ahead and set that in, just like that. And we're gonna also drop in, uh, well, I guess actually, sorry, I'll show you a different way. I think this way is a little easier. Okay, so with the Gamma Mod, we're gonna go ahead and make sure these clips are pulled down. So you can see here, that's closed, that's open. So we're gonna go ahead and open them up and leave the screen at a bit of an angle, kind of like this. All right, so there you can see that clip is open and we're gonna take the main board and attach it to the display, just like if you were switching out the display. And we're gonna go ahead and hold these clips down. So the reason I'm holding it like this is we have that ribbon cable that goes to the button panel here. So then we can go ahead and drop it in, and you can see actually where that BGO scintillator is, it's right up there in the front of the detector. And then of course we have our two SIPMs. So we have a total of three SIPMs on this, our photo detectors, uh, two run the alpha and beta, and then we have a third separate dedicated one for the BGO crystal up there. So next up, we're gonna take the bottom and we're just gonna drop it in like normal. There you go. And before you screw everything together, we can go ahead and power on and see if it boots up. So if you do have the Gamma Mod software installed, um, and that's just an update to the firmware of your Alpha Hound, it'll jump right into the screen, you'll see that new Gamma column. If you don't have it updated, uh, you'll see the screen light up, it'll boot as normal, um, and you'll have to update before you get any Gamma functionality. Same with the buttons. So now that's working, we're gonna go ahead and power off again, and we're gonna get our screws installed. All right, so again, if you do have your Gamma Mod firmware installed, it'll just jump right up into the screen. Um, if you don't, if you just see Alpha Beta on there, you will need to update your firmware. Uh, so let's jump over to the computer, and I'll show you all how to do that. All right, so now that we're over on our computer, we're gonna head over to radvdetection.com, head over to our Guides tab, and if we scroll down here, we'll see all of our update stuff for Alpha Hound. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and download the Alpha Hound updater right here. And then we're going to also download our newest firmware for the ABG. So we can download both of those. 
All right, next up, we're gonna plug our Alpha Hound in with USB-C and we're gonna make sure it's turned on. So back over by the files we just downloaded, we're gonna to head to Alpha Hound Updater and we can go ahead and launch the software. It's gonna ask us to select a firmware. We're gonna go ahead and navigate to where our download was. Here you can see our Alpha Hound ABG version 2.6. I'm going to go ahead and double click that. You can see here it says Alpha Hound Plus connected and we're going to hit update. Uh, during this time your Alpha Hound will pause, it'll stop working and we'll see our upload progress uh, go across here. Make sure to not unplug or anything like that. If this does freeze or anything happens just reach out to us over email and we can get it fixed for you. Once the update's all done, your device will reboot. And you can see we have the new firmware. So again, um, if you had an AB, uh, AB Plus, uh, you'd just see those two. Now with the Gamma, we have the third one, um, spectroscopy, all the other features of the AB Plus G. Um, you can head to radviewdetection.com slash alpha view. It's a pretty rudimentary um, software, but it works uh, and it's all online. So here you can see uh, it starts reporting our dose rate. And then we can also download our dose rate and uh, it, it's averaging it. Um, and then we can also get our gamma spectrum. So we can hit start auto gamma view. And if we scroll down here, I'll go grab some sources and data will start coming in. Um, so every five seconds it goes and it grabs that new gamma spectrum and you can see it building out here. We can also download this gamma spectrum at any time. Um, you can calibrate through this user interface too. So if you want to download this and through InterSpec or some other software, go ahead and send back its uh, calibration profile. You can do that if you want to recalibrate your device. So of course, like any gamma spectrum, the more counts you get, the more clear this will get. But this just gives you guys an idea of what I'm working on. All right, some other cool things and we'll go ahead and set this aside. <laughs> A little noisy. Um, we have this. This is our new sample holder. So it kind of mounts just like the uh, protective back cover does, like this. And then we can go ahead and insert samples uh, like this. So um, you insert like that, and then you can do counts and stuff like that. And just it's a more consistent way. So if you wanted to do like a, a wipe on something to see if it had alpha particles, you could insert it in here and reliably do the same test over and over again. We also have a Frisker probe coming out, so this is good um, for like distance measurements or anything like that. Like if you want to have this away from the sources themselves, uh, and you can just use it like a normal ABG. So there you go, Alpha Hound, AB plus G, the whole mod, everything like that. Really appreciate you guys watching. Um, make sure to follow, and uh, I got some more videos coming soon on how the actual internals of this thing work, uh, using an oscilloscope and all that. So really look forward to showing you all how alpha, beta, and gamma separation works in more detail. This has been Radview Nick. I'll catch you in the next one.